Good morning, I'm Marco Villarreal. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. The investigation this morning unfolding within blocks of the scene where three people were murdered. Take a look. You see the locations of the three unsolved shootings that all happened last month. The one in red is the one that happened in the early morning hours today. That scene is on Nebraska Avenue near Caracas Street, and that's where 60-year-old Ronald Felton lost his life. We're told he was a father of three adult children on his way to feed the homeless at a church when he was shot and killed. This morning we do have team coverage, and we're starting with Meredith Sulo and what we know so far about this latest incident. Good morning, Meredith. Good morning. Well, Tampa police say that right now this crime scene you can see behind me, Nebraska Avenue near Caracas, it is being treated as if it's part of a series of murders that are recently uh, linked already here in Seminole Heights. And that is until they're able to deem it otherwise. But what they see right now, at least, indicates this murder is very similar to the others. You know, unfortunately, there will be one more family today that will be notified of a family member that was killed in cold blood. Today, it's the family of Ronald Felton, found shot in the middle of Nebraska Avenue just before 5 a.m. after reports of gunshots came in to 911. At least one witness describes a thin black man wearing all black, including a black baseball cap, who came up behind Felton and shot him dead. Tampa police ask anyone with information who saw or heard anything to come forward and those with surveillance video to check that too. Sadly, it's a request they've made several times over the past five weeks. I believe that this person lives in this neighborhood and we need everyone's cooperation. We need everyone to pay attention to what's going on in their neighborhood. Now, since this string of murders began, Tampa police say they have knocked on more than 1,900 doors. But they're making a new request today. They're saying they want you to go and check to see if you own a firearm, is it where it's supposed to be? If it's not, they need you to call Tampa police right away. This could be another clue in unraveling the mystery of what's happening here in Seminole Heights. Back to you. And Meredith, this is one of those cases that continues to frustrate officers, and we really need the help of the public to be able to catch this person responsible. All right, Meredith Sensual, thank you. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.